Hey, what's up, Pittsburgh? It's your boy, Chef Dick. Like you ain't no gangster, Chef. Yeah. And I'm back up on the block. Chef up in the building. Call it up with Chef Dick. Coming soon. 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 Coming Got about seven, eight ingredients. It's real simple. This is what we're going to start with. Got to have your garlic, chopped onions, two different types of peppers. Can be green, red, yellow, orange. It really doesn't matter. Some crushed tomatoes, meatballs, mozzarella cheese, and Parmesan cheese slices. I have a baguette here. I like to use baguette or ciabatta because it's a stiffer bread and it'll soak up the juice and it won't make your sandwich as sloppy. So with that being said, let's get started. The first thing I did with the baguette is um, slice it down the middle and cut it into five inch pieces and I'm letting that toast. Next I'm going to get into making the sauce. While the baguette is toasting, the first thing you need is you need a hot pan and throw your garlic in there and let that garlic cook. As soon as you smell that garlic open up, throw your onions in there and both of your peppers. As you can hear, Gonna saute around in there. Let that cook for a second. As far as your vegetables, you really on with this meal, you only need your vegetables to saute about five minutes because you still want to have a little crunch when you're eating your sandwich. All right, as these peppers, garlic, and onions are sauteing, I'm gonna hit with a little bit of that SmackDown. You know, for that, some of that ultimate flavor. And this actually is a seasoning mix I came up with myself. Um, Within my cooking career, I've always had a set of seasonings that I use, and everybody actually said it tastes pretty good. So, I said, why not bottle it? All right, this next step we're going to do, after you got these peppers, onions, and garlic in there sautéing, is go add these crushed tomatoes to there. Basic crushed tomatoes, you don't got to get any fly with it. Your basic can of work. You want to put all that in there. Use your spoon. Get all the excess out. Like I say, today with this recipe, we're only making two sandwiches. Like I say, um, with the baguette, as it's cut down the middle, you can make two sandwiches out of one five-inch slab. And then along with the SmackDown, we're going to go with the basic, salt and pepper. Guys, these was the first two seasonings. How can you go wrong with them? Now that we got the bun toasted, and the sauce being made, we're going to take the meatballs, slice them in half, already boiled them, and a little bit of beef broth just to give them a little extra flavor, and we're about to make the sandwich. Now that we got the bun toasted, we got your sauce made, and we got your meatballs heated, we're going to put this sandwich together. Like I said, it's quick and easy. As you can see, all I did is make a little quick sauce, shredded some mozzarella, and slice some meatballs. That's it. First thing you want to do, you want to take your bread. As you see, it's nice and toasted. You want to put it down flat. You want to lay two pieces of provolone cheese down first. What that's going to do when it heats up is going to lock in the sauce from getting to the bread so the bread doesn't get real salty. Soggy, not salty. <laughs> first thing you want to do is you want to take your meatballs. What I like to do on a five inch bun, I like to take like six meatballs to eight meatballs, line them up. Now that's what we're going to do. We're going to take six meatballs. Like I said, we're going to line them up like that. You want to stretch them out over the whole bun. You want to take some of your fresh sauce that you just made. And man, I'm telling y'all, I wish you could smell this because it's smelling real good right now. Like I say, this is my take on the open face meatball sandwich. Basically, when I want to feel how sedity with a meatball sandwich, this is what you do. <laughs> We go finish this with mozzarella. Now, what you have here, you have your toasted baguette, you have your provolone cheese, your meatballs, and you have your fresh sauce. We go tape that off with a little mozzarella. And we go throw this under the broiler to get a nice bake on it. And like I say, ladies and gentlemen, you got the fat boy meatball melt. Nice, simple. Look at that layers to this. What your boy Meat Miller says levels to this. Now it's layers to this. 
Now that we put that melt in the oven, we're going to leave it in there for about a good four to five minutes just to get a little good melt on that cheese, and then it's done. Hey, as you can see here, we got the finished product. This is my masterpiece, the Fat Boy Meatball Melt. Come on, man. <laughs> I finished it off with a little fresh cilantro. I like the taste of it. Um, it goes great with this. Um, that's all. Until next time, thank you for tuning in with Chopping It Up with Chef Dix. I'll let your boy.